everyone, it's Nicole and Kitten, if you <laughs> heard me long when we first started. So, uh, disclaimer, two dogs, two cats, and two guinea pigs. It's inevitable that they're going to make noise, especially since Jamie is not feeling well, so he is not here to wrangle them. Um, and so, this is actually the second time that I'm trying to film this, because the dogs are just running amok and then started barking <laughs> and wanted food, so, and water, and all that good stuff. So, anyways, so... We are here. I'm going to show you our multi-placers, show you how to place them in pins and not break them, um, and then kind of how to use them, especially the Bella tool, which I have one right here. Um, ooh, the white, like really. Yeah, so kittens over there making noise, telling you hello. So we have a couple different size options and we have different color options. Um, I don't even know how many variations we have. We have quite a bit. There's actually two listings, so I'm going to include both listings in the description um, because we have so many different sizes and colors. I believe it's 10 colors and I don't even, maybe like 10 or 12 different sizes. Um, and so there are actually two listings to find all of the colors. So uh, this is a Bella tool. Um, there's actually a magnet that's 3D printed in here so you can actually use it as a cover minder. Uh, people like to place it on their uh, workstation afterwards or on their uh, diamond painting so that they can find it later. So these are our uh, multi-placers are not 3D printed with filament. They're 3D printed with resin. And so it doesn't make that it like they're not impervious to breaking, um, especially when you're first putting them into your pens. You have to be really careful. And then as you can see in my Bella wheel tool, um, I have a single placer that is a uh, stainless steel so that I can push the drills around because you want to place it with the with the multi-placer and then you want to push the drills around with a single stainless steel or even one of the whatever regular tips are but you just don't want to push them around with the resin because they can break so as you can see I have one on this one I have one on that one and then I just was putting this one together and I put one on this one as well um, and that just makes it easier to push the drills around so uh, there are a couple different uh, sizes here um, so this is a three straight and skinny um, and you might be able to see if it'll focus that it's a little bit skinnier um, than this one which is our curved um, or no this is a straight so there you can see them side by side um, so this is the skinnier one and then this is the straight so you can see that it's a thicker these are better for squares and then these are typically better for rounds because squares uh, you can get them right up next to each other um, with the straight and skinny and then this is an example of two of our curved this is a lilac magenta blue green apple and orange um, and then different sizes so this is a nine curved this is a three curved this is a I think the numbers back here so this is a seven straight and skinny um, and you can see the difference between the curved um, shape and this one um, so there is a lot less room to cover with the single placer um, and so you're able to do these better with squares. Um, I like the round, the curved better for rounds but you can use them for squares you just kind of have to put them down and then kind of push backwards um, with those. So um, with our multi-placers the way that they print there's like an extra little cone at the bottom and we leave that on there just in case your multi-placer is uh, looser then it It'll still um, fit in there, but if you um, have, like this one, I have washi tape on it because it was loose otherwise. Um, so let me see if I put this one in there. Okay, so it's still that little cone that's on here. I just need to shave that down so that it fits better in there. And all you have to do is use a... Uh, what is this? Uh, sorry, I have fibromyalgia and I forget things really easily and I wish that I had help here. But anyways, so this is a nail file and so all you do is you use the nail file and you just go around the little extra that was uh, there and then you kind of just shave it down in a circle and so now it should fit better 
in the diamond or in the uh, Bella tool. So there we go. So all I did was press straight in. Um, you can actually uh, twist them when you're putting them in, but you want to be very careful when you're doing that to put the pressure on the middle and not on the sides because then you will crack it. So um, let's see. Here's a pen that doesn't have anything. So this is uh, also has a little bit of a cone on it. There goes Buttercup. Um, so this one has a little bit of cone on too. So I'm going to go ahead and use the nail file go around in a circle just shave it down like a tiny bit and then if I need to do it again then I can um, but okay so I am able to push this straight in but then if I want to get it to continue to go in I put the pressure here in the middle and not on the sides to twist it so I just kind of like I'm pressing down and twisting at the same time and then now it is in the pin flush and everything so, um, especially with the straight and skinny, because they are skinnier, then you definitely want to be careful with the pressure that you put on them. But this is an 11 straight and skinny blue. Um, this is a orange, uh, I think this is a two straight. So this is an orange two straight. And with these, you definitely want to just push straight in. Um, when they're smaller, then you're going to be putting a lot of more pressure on them. And so you definitely want to be careful with that. And uh, to get it out, you probably want to use pliers to get it back out of here. Um, yeah, I don't want to break it. Um, okay, so there's different sizes. The uh, This is a yellow, because I don't think I've shown you a yellow. So this is a lemon drop yellow, and this is a... And the, the uh, numbers are there, but they're a little bit faint. But this is a nine curved. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put that on there, and it just went straight in. So this is actually a little loose. So what you want to do is you can use plumber t plumber's tape, which is really cheap, um, and it seems to fit a little snugger, or you just take a bit of washi tape, and I'm terrible with putting in washi tape, um, but you just take a little bit off. Let me see if that's enough to do it. And you kind of just want to put it around. Um, see how it has like a little bit of a uh, triangle here? So you want to put it right under the triangle. So then I just kind of put it around. And then I will wrap it on that side and then wrap it this way. And the plumber's tape typically sticks a little better too. All right, what pen was I trying to put this into? Is it this one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we go. So it's a lot snugger now in there. Uh, I have to use a little bit more force to get it out. Uh, I don't do a good job <laughs> putting the washi tape on and not making a mess. Um, but that is how you can put um, the washi tape. <laughs> Sorry, that's how you can put the washi tape to make it more snug so it doesn't fall out when you're diamond painting. Um, let's see, what's another color that we might not have shown you? So this is a six curved and it is red. Um, and then here's another red and it's uh, two straight and skinny. So you can see that it's skinnier. Um, so these are better for the uh, squares. So that one just fits straight in and then I'm able to pull it straight out, um, but you definitely don't want to force it or put pressure on it trying to pull it out. So that fits, that fits in there snug. Um, this is another one that might have like a little bit of a cone, so this is a lilac. Uh, the lilac and the purple are kind of similar, but you can see that the purple is in fact darker. Um, so this is a straight, both of them are straight. So see how they're a little bit thicker there. Um, so I am going to try to put this one in. And that one actually fit in just right. So I'm just going to twist it a little bit to get it to sit flush there. Um, but definitely when you're using the multi-placers, you want to make sure that you um, have a single placer uh, to push the drills around. Um, and then I'm going to kind of show you how... Um, because if you push the drills around, then you will crack it like so. <laughs> There's a little crack right there because I didn't follow my own advice and I was pushing around with it. So I'm going to pause the video, take all these pens off. I don't really use the pens too much anymore. And I'm going to show you how the Bella Wheel Bella Tool works. So give me just a minute. And I'm back. 
Okay, so I actually use Not Your Mama's Mud um, in my multi-placers, and how I fill them is I just take a bit of the wax, and then I will um, go over the uh, multi-placer until it fills up with the wax. Um, so the straight and skinnies take a little bit more to do. And then here is a nine straight and skinny. Um, and so this is kind of how I, maybe don't make as much of a mess as I make, but this is how I would fill my multi-blazers to use with the diamond painting. Um, okay, so that's how I fill them. And then to uh, get the wax out of them, you do not want to use uh, tweezers. You can use uh, toothpicks and that's a good way to get it out um, because otherwise you if you use the especially pointy stabby tweezers um, I don't have any right here um, if you use the pointy stabby tweezers then you run the risk of breaking your multi-placer because you're kind of pushing it at a jagged edge so let me see this is one that I typically have been using I'm gonna switch that one out since that was the broken one that I showed you I'm going to push that one in there and you see how this is loose um, so I'm going to take a bit of my washi tape like I showed you before see if we can get it so I got a little bit of washi tape put it around the multi-placer and then push in and the reason that this is looser is because I've been using this bell tool for I don't know going on like five months and so uh, the holes are a little more worn out with me changing out the multi-placers but I really do like to use the curved um, when I'm doing rounds so this is a round kit so I have mostly curved on here I have a nine curved oh, apparently I have two nine curved on here <laughs> so I have two nine curved on here now if I, if I want to and then a three curved and a six curved probably should have pulled like a seven curved out somewhere um, and then I just have a two straight um, that I use to place and it's just a couple drills um, so let me not make a mess and this is actually our Bella scroll that we are going to be releasing soon um, this is a three divider tray we do limited releases of different color trays on Tuesdays at 12 30 p.m. and 6 30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Savings Time so this was one of our colors this week which is the electric blue and you can put three different color drills in here you can take the divider out and put two or a lot of times I just like to use it as a long tray and it is versatile so I will take the drills out of the container pour them out shake down and there we go and then I will find what my symbol is and all you do is you just find what your symbol is I often even use the bigger ones to just uh, grab a couple drills and place them so like this section needs six and so this is a nine but I'm actually gonna pull oh I didn't count that right one two three four five six so I'm gonna take them here and then I'm gonna roll it on and then there's six drills on the nine and then I will start at the beginning and then roll it on so I really like to and then again do not use your uh, multi-placers to push the drills around use the tip um, I should have my light pad here but it's actually on my other kit okay and then this one is a bigger section to cover so I will take it start at the beginning roll the drills on start again at the beginning and roll the drills on and that had one extra so I'm gonna pick that one up and put it down over here um, and again I think this one has almost all of those so then I will just place it like so and if I want to push the drills around or if I want a single place then I just kind of turn it to single place uh, this one is oh I need a drill in there <laughs> so there's that one and then when I have just a little number then I'll take that straight one and then place it down up oh. And this is an example of the washi tape being worn out and needing to put more washi tape on it um, or a fresh one again I've been using this for quite a while um, watch I'm not gonna be able to get the washi tape out too <laughs> 
watch me struggle. So uh, comment below if you have any questions about the multi-placers, if you have any questions about the Bella tool, um, if you have any uh, suggestions, you can leave them in the comment below. Also leave a comment below and let me know if this video was helpful, if I should do more videos like this that shows our um, different items and how to use them. Uh, there's just a post in our Facebook group, which I will include um, below, as well as our Facebook page. And then we have an Instagram that you can follow us on. And those are the easiest places to reach us and interact. Um, we don't always see posts, but there are people in our Facebook group that do see the post, and so then they're able to help answer questions. So there was uh, someone who posted about the multi-placers and them breaking, and so that's what prompted this so that I could show you um, how to put them in the pens and then how to use the bell tool, because that's the other thing people are always asking, how do you use that? Um, and so all I'm doing is just flipping around to whatever size I need at the time it's really great for when you have those confetti pieces i'm using the two straight as a single placer here do not push them around again use that single placer tip um, and then i can get to that single placer easily this one is five for that section so i will take this and get five on it and roll it on like so that one's a two so it just i've jamie originally made this um, with the suggestion from a customer, we are always open to suggestions. Um, and she kind of set a tool um, that uh, you were able to do, I think, like nuts and bolts on. And was like, hey, could you turn this into something for diamond painting and multi-placers? And so originally, we just did it to hold multi-placers. But then it's become a pen that I can just use. And so I really haven't been using pens Um very much and it's made me a lot faster because then I can just kind of flip around to whatever size I need and I can also use it to just place like a couple drills like I just did three with that um, so it really makes it versatile um, and a lot faster um, I think for diamond painting um, so let us know in the comments below if you have one of our Bella wheel hexagon tool things <laughs> like never really figured out a name entirely, or at least I haven't. I call it like a million different names. Um, but let us know if you have it, if you enjoy using it, if you have any suggestions, if it makes it your diamond painting experience better, faster. Um, and then also our multi-placers. Have you used our multi-placers and find them helpful? So um, I'd love it if you'd leave it in the comments below. And then um, if you ever have suggestions, I will include our email um, for uh, suggestions of products because we actually are going to have a different wax holder coming out here soon um, because there was a customer who said for some of the specialty waxes that she needed a bigger um, wax holder and so Jamie came up with something. So we're always looking for things to make, things to improve. So if you have any suggestions, then reach out via email. We don't always see posts in the Facebook group. Um, if it's really important, people typically try to tag us, but I'm not always on to see um, what all the posts that I need to see. So um, I will include all of our information below and if you could interact and uh, leave us a comment, that would be fantastic. Um, so hopefully you have found this video helpful. You can like um, the video, you can subscribe to our YouTube. If you hit the little bell button, then it will notify you when we uh, post videos like this. And also we go live. Um, every Saturday at 1.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Savings Time is what we're on now. Um, and so you can uh, join us on our lives. We uh, talk about new products that we have. We also show the trays that we're going to be releasing the next week. And then um, just interact. People can ask questions. Um, and then we show the colors. Did I say that already? Probably. <laughs> So um, I think that's about all now. So yeah, make sure that you hit the bell button so you can be notified of videos and then um, subscribe and like our channel. Uh, we do not have ads. We have not, uh, we're at the point where we could um, 
uh, monetize, but we really don't want there to be uh, videos that you have to watch uh, just to like advertisements. So we have not uh, monetized our YouTube yet for that reason. Um, so hopefully you have enjoyed this video. I have rambled on long enough because uh, even my computer shut down on me. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully this is still filming right now. Yes, okay, it is still filming. So I have rambled on enough. If you see our Saturday lives, you'll find out that I just like to talk. So uh, thanks for joining me and hopefully you found this video helpful. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye guys.